பார்க்கலாம் நவ் வி நோ பண்ணல் ப்ராடக்ட் ஃபியூச்சர்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் கன்ஸ்ட்ரைன்ஸ் சரி மேடம் ஸோ நவ் வில் டாக் அபவுட் ஓகே நவ் வில் டாக் அபவுட் தெர் இஸ் சம்திங் கால் கஸ்டம் ஆக்ஷன் ஓகே வாட் இஸ் கஸ்டம் ஆக்ஷன் ஓகே so if you observe sir if you open your cart page okay you can see some buttons right what is the what is, is these are all buttons are nothing but actions okay you can see button select button what this button will do sir normally if you select option what this button will do this button will do it will whatever the options is selected it will select and it will navigate to the quote line editor correct yes what is this button will do quick save whatever the items you selected here it will save under this quote but we are in the same same page we will not navigate correct that is yes. called quick save what is save it will save and it will navigate to the where quote the detail page help page uh, that page it will navigate like what is calculate madam calculate it will calculate some okay. op- options or like a price mm-hmm. after that price right that cancel cancel so all these are nothing but what madam actions these are all what we have nothing but as a custom actions whatever the buttons you can see here right all these buttons you can see in a um, there is object called custom action cpq object what is the object name madam cpq object there is CPQ object name object. called custom actions so here you can see all the existing custom actions you can see madam here add products right this is a button we can see right normal add products this button so what is the what this button will do madam what this button will do this will be there in the quote line group if you open this button what it is doing madam action add products in products add just just if you click add products it will show the products you can add it that is a functionality of that product right so that you can see action add products okay so where this is located in the page this is called quote and group uh, quote line editor page okay the quote line editor this is called quote and group location okay so this is a label name what is the label name they are giving add products that is the same name you can see here add product label name okay madam so but here you can see there are three types of actions sir one is a menu other one is a button other one is a separator what are the three sir menu button and other one is what is other one madam separate what are the, if you see type here the type how many types we have madam button menu okay. separator so menu means what madam if you see now for add products what is the app type is selected madam there menu if you see now it is menu or not is it menu or button menu menu because you can see this option right so you can add sub action also you can add a sub actions also here okay but this is called menu okay if you see these things right now these are buttons uh, add group save button if you see there is some space between calculate and cancel if you see there is some space between mm-hmm. add products and add group what this one we can call is separator what we can call it as madam separator, separator. So if you want to give space between the buttons or actions what is the type you have to select madam separator separator okay. understand so these are the like of actions you can just go back again you can see all the things also separator is there is nothing separate is nothing but what madam just it will give a space between the two buttons and there is no no that action it will not do any actions if it will not do any actions it any actions can perform say that's it just so you can wh- give that what is the use sir? use means just giving space see for example If there is no space between the buttons, what will happen, madam? All are 
come under like a one group right it is no proper like a structure understand okay. just for giving space it it is not doing anything it is doing any action madam here you perform just no 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 action no, nothing okay. just what is the number i am giving madam here display number 904 904 so where this space will come is this space will come before 903 between 903 and 905 this separator will come you can see now what is 903 is there what is 903 is there madam friendly subscription button friendly subscription where it is there you can see here okay this is not there here this is in a different layout i guess you can see add group before add group what is there madam some space is there right how this is space is coming madam yes because of this separator understand madam okay. yes. it will not do any actions madam just it is a some space you can see there are so many separators and menu means you know menu you can add a parent action child yes. actions it's like, like pick list ha huh, like, like pick, pick list, list. Huh. parent and sub actions for example add product is the what madam main button under this main button you can add a sub button child buttons what you can call it for example if you open mm -hmm. what is the child option madam here add favorite right if you open add favorite action you can understand what is the favorite uh, parent one madam here parent customer add action. products yeah. understood madam why it is coming yes. because add products is a menu under this menu what i want to display add favorites, add favorites. button this is the type understand okay. okay so menu buttons separator okay. so how to create how to create one more sub button sir if you want to create one more sub button what you can do i'll create one new buttons completely sub button sub button what you can do you can create madam for example what is the number the add favorites number is there here 901 right you can create one more number 902 or any sequence number the number just here you can set the parent action equal to add product that's it if you choose parent custom action equal to add products automatically what will happen madam mm -hmm. this will come under this menu so we have yes. to click new and uh, do this oh, create one. a sub button ah, i'll show you one button just you can do the same thing example i'll create one new button example for example what is the requirement i'll take is okay for example if i click add products it is showing all the products correct yes or no yes yes it's showing all yes. the products now what is my requirement is i want to add one button here if i click this button i want to show only uh software products which products if i i will put one more button here if i click this button what should happen it should display only software products software so first what is the label name you want to use for your button what is the label name madam software software i can give this is my label name okay <clears throat> so if you go to the custom action there is one field called label okay madam in this label field you can add all the labels you can see all the labels so now if i want to create one more button what i have to do i want to add that label name here so which field what is the field name here i need to add label name in the label field in which object add products custom action madam in the custom action object oh okay okay field yes. called label in this label we need to give label what label you want to use for your button Understand? Okay. Okay. Understand? So, if we want to create a new label instead of add products, we can give other name also. Sir. Any name you can give, madam. Already existing labels you can see, right? If you go to the field name, which object, madam? Custom action object. There is a field called what, madam? Label. Label. In this label, we have to give label name. Which label name you want to use for your button? understand okay. you can see for example okay. already add products label name is there that's why you can see there add favorite these are all label they already they are giving if you want to use new button new okay. label 
this create new label what is the new label name you want to give for your new button add software this is my software. button you can give anything okay man click separate okay. now once it is done so now what we can do is go and create a custom action record now new we have to refresh the page now if we click label name here can you see our label name here yes hmm. i want to give this label name for this action you can give action name also anything i'll give same name add so after should be active okay what is brand is it will give a color if you observe here for all these buttons and this button difference entity for all these buttons and this save button difference in condition are madam meku background background blue color is there right sir remaining white color so that brand should come right if you want to enable this check box that will come automatically so where i want to display this button this button i want to display before add products so before add products means i want to know what is the add products number what is the add products number is there here What is the add products number? Is there here? Nine zero. Nine double nine zero one. Nine zero one, na? Yeah. Yeah, nine hundred. This is this is add products. Okay. So if I want display before this, what I have to do? I have to give before this number. You can give eight ninety nine or eight ninety nine. One also fine because by default uh, CPQ using here numbers starting with nine hundred. So you can give before nine hundred. Any number is fine. That is nothing but a before this number. Okay. So I'll give one only. <laughs> okay. So this is a type is equal to button. I I don't want menu. I don't want menu. I don't want space. I'm just creating up some button. Okay. I want to add this button to any menu. No, I don't want to put any menu. If you want to put, you can put add products menu. But I don't want. It is a separate button. I want to create. And so here, where I want display this one, I want display code line editor. Location and the, this quote and group. So here you can do the action. What you want to do? Whenever I'm clicking this add software action, I want to select products or like I want to make it a favorite products or I want to make it renewal. All those things. In this case, I'll take a add products. Okay. So description. This button will show software. family products okay in case if you want to use any extra url you want to navigate then you can use this one but in this case not required just i'll use a some this stand functionality icon also you want to use you can use it but i don't want just click a save so now i have created action but how it will display software products hmm we have created label first option is done second what we have done created a custom action right madam yes. okay with the, what is the action madam add products but how we to add products is in the custom action there is one more child object called such options what is the child object name If you go to the yes, there is an object called search filters. We have to create a search filters so that it will filter the options. Search filters, search filters. Okay. What is the filter, madam? What is our requirement now? Family equals to software. This is the, our filter. So go to your uh, custom action. Just click here, search filter. Click a new button. So, what is the filter name, sir? Family. Product family. Which object? Product object. Product family. Equals to software. 
then only i want this i want to display this is the one one filter only if i want to get multiple filters you can create i am creating only software you can create like a product code starting with 001 like that you can create multiple filter okay that's it and click on save here you can add a condition also like when you want to display this uh, like a custom action like uh, some based on some condition you want to display you can do that one also so when you want to add all the condition all but it's not not required now so i'm leaving it so now what we can do is just refresh the page now you can see there is a one more button what is the button name add software add software add software can you see now yes yes okay and if you want to give space between the add software and add products what you have to do you have to create one more custom action call separate separate okay you can give below uh, add products number below add products what is the number is there 900 right madam you can give 899 uh, 899 you can give automatically space will come here understand so now if i click Where add you have to give 899 sir the display order madam display order is there na this display order okay here number you should give okay. 899 okay okay before or after number if you give ha, where you want to give where you want to make a space uh, before for example add product okay. number is what is add product number madam 900, 900. just 900 option, right? or something uh, 900 yeah. that is display order is 900 before that you want to give then you have to give 899 okay. understand then the space will create yeah ha. now just click add software button what is displaying madam here all the products which are products so here you can check what is the filter you have applied here you can see this is a search filter madam so we have added one search filter right what is the search filter mm -hmm. family family so that you can see here if you want to add more filters you can add it example and take a uh, same like a product uh, name object equal to product name uh display equals to i'll give blank okay i'm not giving anything just i'm giving null value if i want just i want to show you filters only i'll make it number equals to 1 click on save and new how you can add more filters just i want to show you product code target object is product target field is a product code yeah, i am giving equal you can give like a starting with or uh, ends with uh, all those things you can use it i am giving currently blank value i'll make it 2 click a save so display order 1 1 uh. i'll make it now for family i'll make it display order equal to 3 so that it will come under third place So first two filters I'm not giving any condition. Just for third filter I'm giving a some condition. That's it. Equal to hundred. Now if you see here, you can see more filters. But I'm I am using only one condition equal to software. For others two I'm giving equal to null. By default I'm giving null. If you want to put there also you can put some condition. Product code starting with something like this. Now you can see more filters here. Name code. All. I'm giving blank here equal to. you can put some code product code in starting with the it something like that whatever you want you can give for example i will give a uh, product code right mouse you can see product code and software family so like this you can use a custom actions in your code or code line editor okay. this is the one concept